eating earlier. Now this is amazing. I'm so very much happy because it's the first time Hosanna with me after a kill showing some activities like today. I have been on several sightings with Hosanna before, but he was not very active during this time of the day. He is much more active during the sunset and in the morning. During the day, he prefers to just rest. And these days, he's got a tendency of going uh, to the riv dry river beds. So this is the dam Osana is using in order to catch the prey. And the tree we saw him earlier is the tree, same tree is using very often in order to lift up his food, his prey. So from here to the tree is a distance which is approximately 250 meters. So these 250 meters he can catch, he can drink, and he can hide the prey. So the lepers, they, they do like to swim sometimes when wanting to get something which is on the other side of the dam or on the other side of the rivers. I have seen that happening. So when chasing something, yes, sometimes they are very much reluctant to touch the water, but when wanting to do so, they can do so. So the animals which are depending on this water hole might have already got the updates that Osana is here because I'm not seeing the activities around here. So it means animals, maybe they know about his kill at the moment. Here come some of the very much interesting birds making noise. So those are the red-billed oxpakers. These are the birds which are responsible to clean all these animals. Look at that. So the food structure of these birds is very much interesting. They've got two toes facing forward and two toes at the back. Look, now he's getting interested or he's getting irritated, not too sure. But the tail is showing that he's interested on something. Look at how he's standing, folding the legs a little bit. This is amazing. <laughs> so these birds are apparently confusing Osana at the moment. You can see that he wanted to go there. So these birds, obviously, they know about cats because he wanted to take a step to go there. So you can see that the fact that this cat has eaten, it does not mean he is limited to attack again. He is not restricted, he can still attack. It seems like there is another leopard approaching. Oh, here comes Tandy. We are very lucky. Here comes the second leopard. This is getting interesting. Look at Tandy coming. And she's coming straight to the dam. This is quite an interesting day. So you can see that earlier on when I started, the monkeys were complaining about something. So there is quite a lot of predators in the area here. Until now, I'm not too sure what those monkeys were complaining about. But now, here comes Tandy, unexpectedly. That Tandy has been spotted in the area this morning. And I thought she's gone by now. She proved me wrong. 
because she did also have some shares on that kill we saw Osana having earlier on. Maybe is the one who ate most of the meat with a lot of blood. Look at that. So I'm not too sure if Tandi has got Kalamba. Oh, Kalamba is coming. Here comes Kalamba at the back. This is getting interesting now. I saw the movement. She was looking at Kalamba. Kalamba is also coming. We are going to have three leopards in one sighting here. A very, very good afternoon and welcome to the uh, unscheduled broadcast. I am Sydney and I have got a very lovely sighting here now. I can see Tandi is approaching the dam and at the dam already I have got Osana. Behind Tandi is Kalamba. This is interesting. So now we are going to see a group of lepers together. We are going to see what is called a leap. So Kalamba might be moving very slow. Tandi might be going to see if there is some other food remaining up in that tree. But she's very late now. Everything is finished by now. Right there where Tandi is going is where there was a kill. Narosin, this is indeed a lovely sighting and is something I was not expecting. I am so very much happy at the moment. So I'm just going to reverse a little bit so that we can have a better visual of Tandi approaching the tree just to see what is Tandi's intentions at the moment. I can't still, I can't still see where Kalamba is. I saw her coming down there, but now... I can see now Tandi is climbing up the tree. He's going right there to try and investigate if there is still food left by. You can see there he's climbing up. He's going right to those branches and there's nothing left there. So I'm sure she's not going to Hey Lee, that is true. It is amazing and it is very scary. I just want to see what is going to happen when all these three meets. I can see that Talamba is still hiding somewhere, but Tandi is already up in that tree. And I'm sure she's not going to spend much time because there's nothing left there. Hosanna ate everything. So I can see now Hosanna is right looking at Tandi. Hos there is Tandi coming down. Maybe she will come down this side. She just got down very quickly from that tree. She has, there's, there's she coming down. Yeah, she's already on the ground somewhere there. Judy, indeed, these are very much beautiful creatures. I just can't wait for Tandi to come towards my direction here together with Kalamba and see what's going to happen when they meet uh, the Osana, the little chief here with me. So it seems like...
Kandi went down towards the the drainage line or the old dry riverbed. Some of the animals are complaining as well where I am. The impalas, I'm not sure if impalas are complaining because they saw Osana with me here or they are complaining about Tandi on the other side. But at this stage, there's quite a lot of calls, warning calls, alarm calls. You can see the impalas are not settled. They are right there and their whole concentration is looking at that side where Tandi is. I'm sure they are not seeing Osana here with me. I just decided to be quiet a little bit so that you can hear that kind of an alarm call. So those two impalas are against the presence of Tandi, not knowing that Wasana is already at the dam. Asinek, I am not too sure if Wasana can be able to take over that kind of a huge responsibility. Kalamba is still very young and Wasana